We first reported over the weekend about the burglary of tens of thousands of dollars in jewelry from a home in Warren. Tonight we have the rare opportunity to say some of those jewels have been tracked down. But as our Victor Williams explains, there's still one obstacle to getting the victim's valuables back in their hands. When we first spoke to this woman, she was absolutely devastated missing some of the items that really meant the most to her. But now she can at least smile knowing that some of those items have been retrieved but it's a battle over when she can get them back. I was so angry at first. Just days ago, Marilyn Masseri was suffering the loss of her family heirloom stolen right out of her home, worth tens of thousands of dollars. Some of it's my mom's, some of it was my grandma's, some of it was gifts from people. But not even a week later, that same man seen on the video, 31-year-old Trevor Shanks, along with 31-year-old Julie Charbonneau, have been arrested for pawning some of the jewels. Turns out Shanks has a long rap sheet with the history of home invasions and armed robberies. Most of the groundwork to identify the suspect was done by Marilyn's son, Matthew, who ended up calling every pawn shop in the area. I did a lot of research, you know, while the cops were investigating their end, I did my end and we kind of had a joint effort going on and it, it resolved it really quick. But here's the problem. Motor City pawnbrokers have technically purchased $2,200 worth of that jewelry. That's now basically in limbo. I guess it's Michigan law that because they purchased it in good faith that I have to purchase it back from them. Marilyn's now hoping the law surrounding these circumstances can be changed as she debates what to do next. And I don't feel that it's right. I mean, I have to purchase my own jewelry back after it was stolen. I don't know how I'm going to get it back just yet. It is evidence. It is on hold. It's not going to go anywhere and she will get it back. It's just a matter of time. And Marilyn is hoping that this man, along with the woman that were arrested, can get the proper help that they need. Victor Williams, Local 4.